But I'm saying that this picture is very, very cute. Good morning, how are you? What do you see in this picture? Yes, I, uh, I have seen. Yes, what do you see in the picture? No, it's a duck. Oh, yeah, duck. With babies, with little chickens. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so uh, little birds are called fledglings, fledglings, or just baby birds. So it's a duck and ducklings. It's out there, yeah? Duck and her ducklings. And it probably, in addition to being very cute, it probably reflects many different cases of subjective mood. Before we talk about subjective mood, please read this text here. As I doubt, please begin reading. Uh, I cannot read it because um, we, the picture of us, closes. Uh -huh. You need, yes, you need to click on the gallery view. The gallery view, the gallery view is on top right of your screen. And it says speaker view and gallery view. At the moment you are having speaker view, you need to click gallery view. So in gallery view, you will see all of us. And then when I share yes. the picture, the picture, now this picture, you can, you can move this picture. You can uh, grab it with your mouse, and you can move these pictures elsewhere where they're not in the way. Oh, well, so I cannot can, move it. Mm -hmm. I cannot move it. Yeah. Can you see on my screen that I am moving it or you, you don't see it? No. See it. Okay. Now, let me uh, show you a screenshot. I'll show you a, can I show you a screenshot. Yes. Um, here is a screenshot. Yeah. So here is a screenshot. Can you see the screenshot? The screenshot of our session. Yeah. Yeah. So you can grab these pictures. Uh, you mean yours, pictures. mine, and the Hadiches? Yes, all these three pictures. You can grab them with your mouse. And not happening. <laughs> right. And then put them elsewhere. Now I will do another screenshot. And I'll show you what I did. This is the second screenshot. So as you can see that I moved this picture from here, I moved it here, right? And now this is the new screenshot. This one is totally new screenshot, which shows you that I moved them aside. Yeah, so I, I moved these Three. Yes. Uh, on your screen, I see that uh, we are in one line on top of the subject. Oh, exactly. Subjective. But on my screen, we are, you know, one after the other. Yes, I know. One below the other. Sure, I understand. One below the other. Now, what I'm saying is, can you see my mouse? Can you see my yes. mouse? Yes. Yes. So you click. Yes. Okay. You click the the. It's, it's called the left click it's called the left oh click. yes yeah. um, and then yes, you can I'm move le it i'm left clicking yes and and don't uh, release the mouse yes. drag 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 these pictures upwards oh yes yeah. yes and now I'm they're a... out of the way yes right mm -hmm. so we yes. don't need these screenshots now we are left with our favorite subjunctive mood. Now, can you read this text here? Um, the indicative mood is for stating facts, uh, is for stating facts and opinions mm -hmm. like that cat, that cat is fabulous. Uh, yes. Okay, shall I read it again? <laughs> yes. yes. The indicative mood is for stating facts and opinions like, like that, that cat is fabulous. 
Yes. The subjunctive mood, the subjunctive mood is used to express conditional or imaginary statement. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Now, Hadicha, read the same, please, aloud. Uh, the indicative mood is for stating facts and opinions like that cat is fabulous. The subjective mood is used to express conditional or imaginary statement. Exactly. Very good reading. Thank you, Hadicha. So this is all about the theory. We are not going to study any more theory. Right? Everything else will be practiced. So what is the indicative mood? In Russian, it is изъявительное наклонение. It's just a normal way of saying things. Yes? Stating facts and opinions. I like you. That cat is fabulous. Yes, we're having a great time. Now, all of these are indicative moods. The subjunctive mood, сослагательное, is used to express conditional or imaginary statement. So unrealistic, something that is not real. We will start with past perfect subjunctive, something that expresses unreal. All of them are unreal unreal, but this is for unreal past situations, past situations, yes? And the name for that is past perfect subjunctive, right? Mm, just read this slide, please, Khadija, before we start reading the examples. Past perfect subjunctive is used to express unreal past situations. The past perfect subjunctive has the same form as the past perfect tense. Has plus past participle. Exactly. So why we need past perfect? Why we need to pronounce past perfect? Because our favorite, beloved past perfect is here. Yes, had plus participle too. Past participle. Ta -da! The first example. Please, Aizada, read the example. I wish they had arrived on time, which means they did not arrive on time. Exactly, that's the meaning. Hadicha, read the same sentence, please. I wish, I wish they had arrived on time. They didn't arrive on time. I wish they had arrived on time. They didn't arrive on time. Now we are doing the bread and butter exercise. Hadicha and Aizada, you will both make up three sentences on top of this sentence. I wish they had done it on time. I wish they had left on time. I wish they had finished on time, right? Or you can say, he wish, or he wishes, he wishes on the on portrait, yeah? Um, but uh, stick to this, stick to this, I wish. Just change the notional verb. Um, I wish they had finished on time. Good. Uh, or Diana wishes her head arrived on time. Her head? Her, she, her. she. Uh, I be, uh, Diana wishes she had arrived on time. Yeah, D Diana wishes she had arrived on time. And that means that she didn't arrive on time, right? Now, can you use, can you say the same, but use the word tell uh, and told us, had told us, yes? Can you use the word tell? In this sense, um, he wishes she had told on time, told her, or told him. Yes, told him on time. Mm -hmm. And instead of on time, vovrimya, uh, can you say this like before? Instead of on time, vovrimya, can you say before? Раньше, She wishes. She, she wishes. Uh, she had. Uh, told. told before time. Da. Told us before. Yeah. Before. yeah. So I wish you had told me that before. 
right? I wish you had told me this before. После tell у нас будет обязательно прямое, прямое дополнение. Wish, tell somebody something. Okay? I said that your turn, three sentences, just uh -huh. change one word. And it will be enough. I wish I had known this program before. I wish I had known this program before. It's a perfect sentence. Second sentence. Uh, I wish I had met you before, Sveta. <laughs> I wish I had met you before, Sveta. That's very sincere and that's very realistic. Although this is an unreal, unreal we are talking about some unreal things yeah. because you didn't and, uh, and yes i didn't meet you unfortunately before, before. yes uh, and, uh, and i wish i had known you before too <laughs> oh beautiful so it only means that we need subjunctive mood in our everyday life this is what we can say with the help of past perfect subjunctive one more past perfect subjunctive please read Hadicha. I would have bought the dress if there hadn't been such a queer. Q. What is Q. it? There was a long Q, Q. so I didn't buy the dress. Mm -hmm. So the explanation is there was a long Q, therefore I didn't buy the dress. I would have bought, I would have bought the dress if there hadn't been such a cue you will get used to this form if you make up three sentences using the same sentence but changing some of the words like for example a house or a computer or anything else now i said that you read this sentence please and hadisha you prepare your three sentences while Hadi well i said is reading I would have bought the dress if there hadn't been such a queue. There was a long queue, so I didn't buy the dress. Okay. So are you ready? Yes, Hadisha is busy. Uh, Aizada, please pronounce your sentences. Uh, I would have bought a new house <laughs> if there hadn't been so much, so many problems. If there hadn't, hadn't been so many problems. problems. Beautiful sentence, realistic, although we are talking about some unreal circumstances, right? Um, sentence number two from Aizada, sentence number one from Hadicha, please. Um, I would have started the, pro the project if there hadn't been such, such, now, if they hadn't been, instead of such, you can use something else. So many problems. If there hadn't been uh, obstacles. Yeah. No. If there hadn't been such a, a problem with it. Yes, if there hadn't been such a problem with it. Yes, so it means that there was a problem. There was a problem. So I didn't start the project so i didn't start the project what you're changing is the word q and you're changing the word by by the dress right you say start a project so easy and so simple and so good so practical is that your second sentence um i would have gone to europe last summer if there hadn't been such a mess at home if there hadn't been such a mess, like a mess at home. At home. beautiful, realistic sentence about unreal circumstances. Hadisha, your second sentence. Um, I would I would have read the book if there hadn't been such a buy. Mm -hmm. I would have read uh, participle two, not read. I would have read the book if there hadn't been such a um, buying. Such a buying? No. Such a hurry? If there hadn't been such a hurry, if there hadn't been such a hurry, 
такой спешки, да? If they hadn't been such a hurry. Hurry. If they hadn't been such a hurry. Yes. If you want, if you want to use exactly the same structure, you better say if they hadn't been such a hurry. You know. Yeah. But you can change some more words. Еще некоторые слова можно поменять. But don't change the form. Форму нельзя менять, да? Like, I would have, I'm talking about myself, I would have sold my house if I, if I, instead of that, if I hadn't been so sentimental about it. Right? And you understand me? Yes, Hadicha understands me. I would have sold my house if I hadn't been so sentimental. Good. Now, sentence number three from Azada. Uh, I could have joined your sessions, Sveta, if there hadn't been some technical problems with my computer. Wonderful. I would have joined your sessions, Sveta, if there hadn't been some technical issues with my computer. Hadisha, your sentence. I would have known this way if there hadn't been so... Если бы я знала, а если бы... Если бы у меня была карта. Я бы знала этот путь, если бы у меня была карта. Если бы я посмотрела в Google. I would have, uh, I would have known this way if there hadn't been such uh, information that and information. Right, but you can use positive here. I would have known the way if there had been. Просто убираете not. If there yeah. had been such information before. Okay. Uh, I the would have uh, this way, if there had been such an information. Before, right? Before, before. And don't use article N with information, because we can't count information. If there had been such information before. Very, very good sentence. Now tell me please, Hadicha, have you, have you done three sentences? Yeah. Yes, you, you've made three sentences. Aizada made three sentences. Now we can move on. Yeah, good. Hadicha, read the sentence, please. I should rather... Rather. Had, she would rather. rather. Mm -hmm. She would rather I had gone to bed earlier. I didn't go to bed early. Mm -hmm. You know, this is English at its best. Это самые лучшие образцы английского языка. These are the sentences and the forms which will immediately separate you from other, you know, non-native speakers who cannot use these forms. I would rather. We sometimes say I'd rather. Да, сокращенная форма. I'd rather. I'd rather, и здесь можно другие лица использовать. I'd rather you had told me. Да? I'd rather, sorry, I have some typos. I'd rather you had told me. Yes? Okay. She would rather. Now, let's not jump uh, forward. Uh, yes. Just read this sentence one more time, please. I said that. She would rather have gone to bed earlier. Uh, I didn't go to bed early. Mm -hmm. and? Yes, so she would rather, она бы хотела, чтобы я пошла спать пораньше, да? She would rather. Now this would is like wished. Да? She wished. I, she would rather I had gone to bed earlier. I didn't go to bed early. So what we are doing right now is we are reading this sentence a few times, so it sinks to us. Right? And then we change something. Mm -hmm. 
What can you change here? You can change she. You can change had gone. Yes, you can use a different verb here. And then go to bed is one expression. So you can say bought a dress, yeah? Or finished her home task or anything else. So this one is changeable. What is not changeable is would rather and uh, past perfect is not changeable, okay? Adisha, are you ready with your sentence, with your first sentence? Mm -hmm. uh, I would rather, ra rather, I would rather she had studied uh, better yes. than now. Exactly, I would rather, я бы хотела, I would rather she had studied better earlier. Yeah, you can say earlier, or you can say, you know, when she was at school. Yes, um, yes is that your sentence? Uh, I would rather Nursultan had come home earlier. Yes, I would rather Nursultan had come home earlier. Khadija, your second sentence? Um, he would rather she, sorry, she had, uh, uh, yeah, he, he would rather she had started to learn earlier. Yes, she had started to learn mathematics, she had started to learn computers earlier, right, mm -hmm. which means she didn't, she didn't start earlier. Is that your second sentence? Uh, Mr. Putin would rather the United States had been more acceptive of him. Okay, had been more, maybe. Uh -huh. Had been more <laughs> sympathetic. Yeah, sympathetic. Sympathetic. <laughs> Yeah, sympathetic of him. Good. Yeah. And your second sentence? Um, my husband would rather I had cook, cooked yes. every day. <laughs> and you're talking about past. You're talking about past. Yes, because you didn't cook. You didn't cook uh, in the in the past, and he would rather your husband would rather uh, you had cooked at home. Yeah, every day, every day. Um, then you know the context is that then you started cooking at home, and he didn't like your cooking, and he thought, oh, <laughs> it will be better if she doesn't cook at home, and we will eat out. Okay, one more sentence from Aizada. Uh, I would rather had um, I had left Uzbekistan earlier. <laughs> Ooh, so I would rather, yes, I, I had, had left Uzbekistan earlier. Mm -hmm. And Hadicha, one more sentence from you. Um, Samad would rather I had raised his salary earlier. Mm -hmm. I had raised his salary earlier because he left, right? You didn't raise his salary and he left. So we're talking about something that was in the past. Mm -hmm. Good. Now let's move on to the next slide. He seems as, oh, I didn't make up a sentence myself, right? Mm -hmm. I'd rather, uh, right, I'd rather my children had, hadn't have, right? Hadn't, hadn't had. Mm -hmm. I would rather my children hadn't had any problems between them. I'd rather my children hadn't had any communication problems between them, but they did. They had some communication problems in the past. Now they're fine, but even that, you know, even, even though uh, 
all of their issues had been resolved in the past, I would rather they hadn't had those communication problems in the past. Good. She's, yeah, he seems as if he hadn't slept for days. He seems not to have slept for days. Again, we have uh, past perfect, hadn't slept. Also, uh, the verb in the uh, principal clause, главное предложение, is present indefinite. Read this sentence, please, Aizata. He seems as if he hadn't slept for days. Mm -hmm. uh, he seems not to have slept for days, but he has. Mm -hmm. He seems, exactly. So it is unrealistic. It's what you imagine. Right? Khadija, read the same sentence, please. He seems as, he, as if he hadn't slept for days. He seems not to have slept for days, but he has. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when a person looks at herself or himself in the mirror, he thinks that, ooh, I seem as if I hadn't slept for days. Or, ooh, I seem as, I've, as if I had been eating a lot because I put on weight. It seems as if I hadn't slept last night. Right? I seem not to have slept, but I have slept. I seem to have eaten a lot, but I haven't. I seem, yes, to have overworked, but I haven't. Right? So we are reading all of this and we're just putting other words instead of the words that we have here. Mm -hmm. Who would like to start? Aditya, would you like to start? Mm. He seems as if I hadn't draw for days. Mm -hmm. So он выглядит, да? He seems. Он выглядит, он кажется. But you shouldn't use another pronoun here. Mm -hmm. mm. He seems, да? кажется, как будто бы он что-то делал, кажется, как будто бы он не спал, кажется, как oh, будто okay. бы он... So if you are talking about yourself, you say, I seem as if I, he seems as if he, okay? Yeah, she seems as if she hadn't uh, jump for days or run, run for days. Good, run. As if she hadn't run for days, yeah? But what? She but has, she has, she has run, she has run. But she, but she, has. she has run, that. So, but she has is from the explanatory sentence. Aizada, do you have your new sentence? Yes, uh, I look as if I hadn't washed my hair for days. Oh, yes, very honest or too critical probably, but it's but good. I, uh, but I washed her uh, this morning. Of <laughs> course, yes. Now, Khadija, your second sentence. Uh, I seem as if I hadn't seen her yeah. for days. Hadn't seen her. Now, I seem, yeah? no S here. If you say I, then you will not have S. If you say I, then you don't say seems, you say seem, I seem. I seem as if I hadn't saw for days, saw her had, for days. I hadn't seen her for days. Okay, you probably can say that about your internal thinking, about your internal state of mind. Мне кажется, как будто я не видела ее много дней. I seem as if I hadn't seen her for many days. Yeah? Right. I seem not to have seen her for days, but I have. Да, я видела ее на самом деле. У меня такое чувство, что я не видела ее уже давно. It is possible. It is possible. Right? Also, this particular sentence is about the outward appearance. 
это предложение о внешнем виде. But you can use this sentence to express internal feelings as well. Айзада, let's try the second sentence from you. Uh, it looks as if it had as if it hadn't snowed snowed at all. Wow, what a good sentence. So you moved it away from outward appearance of a person, inner feelings of a person to the weather conditions, right? It seems as if it hadn't snowed. Uh, I can say it looks, huh? because okay. I'm looking outside, Absolutely. I'm in front of... It looks as if it hadn't, hadn't snowed. Snowed, snowed at all. At all. Yes, that's a good sentence. I like it. Good job. Hadisha, do you have any more sentences? Mm. Um, he seems as if he hadn't known about it, but he has. Yes, he seems as if he hadn't known about it, but he has. So again, we are talking about something in the past. Как будто он не знал об этом, да? На самом деле он знает. На самом деле он знает. И знал тоже. Now the next one is... Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we finished with past perfect subjunctive. Past perfect subjunctive, no more. Now we're talking about past subjunctive. So if, so if perfect is not here, you will not have the verb have. This, this verb, you will not have hadn't. You will not have this. Just one uh, hint, just one tip. So past subjunctive. Again, we're talking about Uh, something improbable, improbable, unrealistic, невозможно, невероятное, нереалистичное, да, unreal, improbable, but past subjunctive refers to unreal, improbable present or future situations. Just like in Russian, when we say, um, я бы хотел, да? although you are talking about present and future, But you use past form. You use past form. So the same is correct about other languages and English in particular. The first sentence. Read, please, Hadija. If I were you, I would apply right now. I'm not you, but. I'm not you. So I'm not you is present indefinite. Mm -hmm. But in order to express unreal, unreal situation, unreal circumstance, you use past, past, mm -hmm. and it's called past subjunctive, not past perfect, but past subjunctive. Okay? And it's called past subjunctive because we use past form. Um, yes, uh, Aizada, please read the same sentence. If I were you, I would apply right now. Good. I'm now, not you. Exactly. It's a pity I'm not you, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, let's make up our sentences. Khadija, are you ready with your sentences? Three sentences. Mm -hmm. If I were you, I would talk about it right now. No. After modal verbs, and would is a modal verb, we only use bare infinitive, goal infinitive, без частицы ту. If I were you, I would tell about it right now i would tell about it right now if i were you i would tell about it right now mm -hmm. good as a die your sentence uh, if i had more courage i would apply right now yes if i had more courage you are using had more courage at any uh, past perfect no it emits global notional verb emit. But uh, try to use the same sentence. Okay. If I were, if I were you, Sveta, <laughs> if I were you, Sveta, yeah. I, would, I would sell the house. <laughs> I would sell the house. Thank you. Yes, good, good. Good sentence. <laughs> Can you make up two more sentences immediately? Uh, yes, if I were if I were you, Hadija, I would um, 
I would be happy about my husband. <laughs> I would be happy about my husband. Yes, yes because Hadija's husband, yes, wanted her to, to cook every day yeah. in the past, right? Yeah, yeah, but now yeah. he doesn't want that. It's important to cook every day for your husband. Oh, right. yeah. because I know now, it. I know it not from my own experience, but from this the way You okay. know, the, the, yes. the, the woman always from... says she cooks for her husband every day. And it doesn't okay. help her. It doesn't help her, right? Yes. Okay. And did you make if I, if I were you girls, I would not be uh, at the computer. I would not be at the computer. At the computer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, two more sentences from you. Mm, if I were you, uh, I would um, I would sleep right now. I would sleep right now. Yes. Sleep? I would sleep, sleep right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and one if, more sentence. If I were you, I would. Um, collect my, my, my things for, for my trip. For my trip. Yeah, pack. Yeah? Pack. Yeah. I, would I, pack. I, would, I would pack my things for my trip. For my trip. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's a good sentence as well. Mm -hmm. Again, we have this I'd rather, I'd rather, I would rather, remember? From the past perfect subjunctive. So we have it in past subjunctive as well. But instead of had stopped, we have just stopped. That's the whole difference. And this is about present or future condition. Mm -hmm. I'd rather your boyfriend stopped calling you in the middle of the night. The boyfriend keeps calling you in the middle of the night. So I'd rather your boyfriend stopped calling you in the middle of the night. I said that, please read the sentence. I'd rather your boyfriend stopped calling you in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Yes, Hadija, read the same sentence, please. I'd rather your boyfriend stopped calling you in the middle of the night. Of the night. Mm -hmm. Your boyfriend keeps calling you. Yes. So I'd rather your boyfriend stopped calling you in the middle of the night. So what we did right now is we read this sentence and we made it very, very vivid. It's called interpretive reading, actually. Interpretive reading? Interpretive reading? Yeah, it's called interpretive reading. In Russian, yeah. it means выразительное чтение. Interpretive reading. But from the English expression, uh, you understand, yes, that we use interpretive reading to interpret a meaning. Yeah. Это у нас аналитическое получается. Interpretive reading for comprehension. Yeah, для понимания. It's an exercise for reading comprehension. Interpretive reading is an exercise for reading comprehension. Для усвоения прочитанного. Right, now make up sentences. Three sentences, Hadija, three sentences, Aizada. Hadija, begin, please. Yes, Aizada, you can begin. I'd rather your friend stop seeing you at all. Right, Amina, lovely girl. Hello, how are you? Hi, bye, thanks. Yes, did you come from outside? Did you come from outside? Is it cold? Yes. Oh, you're wearing your jacket? Is your jacket warm? Yes. You have such a beautiful Christmas tree. Who made it? <laughs> Who put it up? Who put it up? Who decorated it? Um, me with, ma with mom. Oh, it's so beautiful. You've got a very good taste. Very good taste. <laughs> because it has all these decorations and also it has the lights. Yes. It's so beautiful. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Khadija, are you using a different, uh, are you using a different background? Did you move away from, from that place? Yes. Okay, I understand. Now, um, yes. yes, that was a good sentence. The second sentence? I'd rather, 
uh, I told her my, my girlfriend uh, started calling me every day. Exactly. So you would rather your girlfriend started calling you every day. Yes, Aizada, your sentence? I would rather my sister started calling me every day. <laughs> I would rather my sister started calling me every day. Beautiful sentences. They even sound like your Christmas wishes or like your yes. New Year wishes. You know, in the West, they make New Year resolutions. But in yeah. the East, people make New Year wishes, which is different. Okay? And I like New Year wishes. I, th I think some of the New Year resolutions should turn into New Year wishes and then Santa will fulfill them. Khadija, your sentence? I'd rather, more, I'd rather Diana begin more kind, kind for, for me. Okay. <laughs> You're using the verb to be, that big, oh, Became, that right? become, become, became. Yeah? У нас получается became. I'd rather Diana became kinder to me. Kind to me. Kind, да, hey, kind, kind to me. Kinder to me. Да, если вы хотите добрее, then kinder. Or you can use several words here. You can use several words here. I'd rather Diana became kinder more loving, more compassionate, mm -hmm. and even closer, bliger, closer to me. Okay, I'll write it down here. Became, so you use the word became, yes, became, <clears throat> and kinder, uh -huh. more compassionate, at the сравнительной степени, yeah? More compassionate, what else? Uh, more loving, yes, and closer to me. Ближе ко мне, чтобы она была, моей душе, да? Can you repeat your beautiful sentence, please, so that Santa can listen I'd to you again? I'd rather Diana became kinder, more compassionate, more loving and closer to me. Closer, да, потому что это прилагательное. Closer to me. Good sentence. I wish you that. <laughs> Aizada, do you have one more sentence to go? Yes, I, I have one more wish. And here it is. I'd rather no Sultan became more sincere and open with me. Wonderful. Ladies, I wish our wishes come true. The next slide is, I think we still have some time before my next lesson. Read, please. Aizada, please read yourself. He looks as if he knew the answer, which means he gives the impression that he knows the answer, but he probably doesn't. Mm -hmm. I think by now we understand subjunctive mood much better, so we don't really need this explanation. This sentence is so clear, isn't it? He looks as if he knew the answer. Uh, Hadisha, can you read this sentence? He looks as if he knew the answer. He answer. gives the impression answer. He gives the impression that he knows the answer, but he probably doesn't. Now, three sentences from Aizada. He looks as if he knew the answer. He looks as if he didn't know the answer. Uh, he looks as if he didn't know the answer. Yes, but he does. He knows the answer, right? Second sentence, Aizada? I'll, uh, okay. Aizada, you can... Uh, yes, yes. I look as... A, <laughs> I look as if I knew all the answers in the world. <laughs> I look as if I knew all the as answers in the world. All the answers I don't, right? I look as if I knew all the answers in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, and, um, you can say, I look as if I know all the answers, right? So it is yeah. not a mistake, but it is a different, different grammatical structure, 
and uh, like you know we have so many different ways of saying the same thing right but subjective mood let me tell you this will make you sound more sophisticated more intelligent more educated that's why we learn subjunctive mood because it's an additional language resource the uh, resource. yes now your sentences Hadicha, three sentences from you um, she looks as if she heard about this gossip gossip she looks she looks as if she heard about this gossip only просто не about, а просто she looks as if she heard this gossip. Или about this gossip. If she heard this gossip. Ну, это о себе все время, об одном и том же человеке. Он выглядит так, как будто бы он знал, знал, да? Как будто знает. You know, translation doesn't help us. Translation, translation will ruin a sentence if the target language doesn't have the same kind of grammar or the same kind of structure then translation totally ruins the um the, the foreign language sentence right that's why we use interpretive reading rather than translation so she looks as if she knew the gossip or she looks as if she heard the gossip yeah? Она так выглядит, как будто она знает. So she looks as if. Now, sentence number two from you. Um, Anina looks as if she did something wrong. As if she did something wrong. Wonderful. Very good sentence. Ladies, I love you, but I must leave you. So it's enough for today. Next time, uh, we will work with subjunctive mood next saturday and we will if you come to the lesson to the open session we will yeah we will continue with this slide we will continue with this slide or with the next slide okay slide number 12. All right i wish you a great weekend keep in touch come tomorrow you can come tomorrow tomorrow is an excellent excellent topic phrasal verbs one of my favorite topics okay Bye. Thank you, Lana. Nice to meet you, Isabel. Yeah, the same. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.